Hey YouTube, what's going on? It is Saturday and I'm on my way back home from the lake from a epic night of drinking. Yay me. Ow. <laughs> so guys, I'm in my... Okay, here's the story. I had my 96 Jeep Cherokee, aka the Heap, right? Stayed up night and day for four weeks with zero sleep and turned it into a brand new Mustang. That, that's seriously, that's how the story went. That's what I did. I had to get rid of the Jeep, it, or I didn't get rid of it, but I had to kind of put it out of commission for a while. The old pump was going out and some other things, and I just got tired of throwing money at it. So here, sometime in the future, that's gonna be my project. Um, I don't wanna call it a rock crawler, but it's gonna be kind of a streetable off-road vehicle. I'm gonna lift it and do all that stuff again. I'll make some more Jeep videos. But anyway, uh, on today's video, as you know, I was at the lake, and here in Kentucky, it is very hot and humid, and the mosquitoes and the, the biting critters are out in full force. And I learned something kind of neat this weekend from a couple of the girls, and there's, there's a lotion out there, it's called Skin So Soft. And she was telling me about it. She's like, put the Skin So Soft on, and she's like, I promise it's better than Deep Was Off. Plus, it's not bad for your skin. So I'm like, oh, I'm not putting that crap on me. But after about an hour of getting ate up, I was like, where's that Skin So Soft? I want some. And she gave it, gave it to me, and I put it on my legs, my arms, and around my neck, and stuff like that. And I tell you what, one, it felt good. My skin cooled off, uh, didn't smell bad at all. And for the rest of the, the whole day Saturday and all out through the night, because we stayed up, so shit, I don't think none of us went to bed till six o'clock this morning, because we were drinking a lot of alcohol. And, uh, but I didn't have any more problems with the bugs. And normally it drives me nuts anytime I come down to the lake. So it works, it works very very well and the thing I like about it is you know if you use like a bug spray use it on your face and you start sweating and your, your skin gets irritated like up here in your cheekbones well with me it does anyway and it gets kind of raw and uh, didn't have that my, my face cooled down I had a little bit of sunburn too and uh, kind of cooled it down it was nice I liked it and uh, so my thing was like man this is something that everybody that has an everyday carry bag or a bug out bag they need to have a little bottle of the skin so soft. And I learned from the our buddy at Top Hill, Davey, he's got a couple horses, and he said he puts skin so soft on his horses sometime when they have hot spots. You know, he'll put it on a towel and kind of rub it in, and it actually makes their, uh, their coat and everything look really nice. And uh, another girl, she's a veterinarian, she says she actually gives that to some of the dogs and stuff that have heavy coats, kind of like my collie, and she goes, you just rub it in their skin, their fur, and it makes your fur real soft and smell good, and it helps them with their hot spots too. So it's definitely a multi-use product, and uh, I'm sold on it. So you know, a lot of the lot. I think if now don't quote me, I believe that there's more people in the world killed by disease from insect bites or disease period than anything in the world, uh, which that would make sense. And a lot of these diseases and stuff are transmitted by bugs, like mosquitoes and all this little stuff. So, uh, hey, I'm sold. I'm, I'm, I've got some on the way. I think Avon makes it. So as soon as I get home, I'm going to order a big old bottle of it. And I'm going to, you know, reduce it down to some little carry size bottles. And I'll keep one in my everyday carry. And I'm going to keep one in my bug out bag. And I'm going to keep one here in my car because it's, it's great stuff. So, guys, that's, that's going to be my video for today. Uh, look forward to uh, Jeep build videos in the future. Might be a couple months because now that I turned my other Jeep into a new Mustang, the funds are kind of tight. But I'm working on that too. So, uh, like I said, guys, if you like my video, please like it and subscribe. If you have any other cool tips like this, leave it down below in the, the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thanks a million for all my new subscribers. I'm over 200 now, which isn't a big deal big deal to me so guys as long as y'all keep supporting me and and i'm making new friends i'm gonna keep pumping these videos out so if you have any comments about anything anyway anything i can do to make my channel better 
or just ideas for videos because sometimes man i i get stuck you know i just you know hit a, a wall i just don't know what to do videos about anymore so uh hey hit me up man and girls uh, you know i'll take any kind of idea under consideration whether it be serious or stupid i don't care i'll do anything um and uh, I think that is about it for today, I think. Oh, I'll go ahead and tell you about a little bit of stuff we did at the lake last night. I drank enough Goldschlager last night that I bet I could poop a necklace. No joke. We drank a liter of Goldschlager, me and a couple girls, and then we made these shots called Lemon Drops, which is pretty much alcoholic lemonade. All it is is ice, fresh squeezed lemons, sugar sour mix, and vodka. That's it. I bet we went through well over a gallon. I know we had two half gallons. And I looked on the tape and they're gone. And that's a lot of damn vodka. Plus all the beer we drank. We had margaritas. We ate a bunch of good damn food too. So maybe that helped out because surprisingly, nobody really had a hangover. I've just got a little bit of a kind of tension headache maybe. I guess you could call it. No big deal. Uh, so all in all, it was a good night. Learned a bunch of new uh, drunken words. And got to see a girl pee on another girl on accident, but that was funny as shit. And found out somebody somehow got second place in the uh, state fort in the state fair for rusty trombone. <laughs> so I don't have no idea what that was, but it sure the fuck was funny when we were half tore down. So uh, got second place in the state fair in the rusty trombone area, <laughs> whatever that is. So guys, cruising in my new Mustang Jeep. And uh, I guess that's about it. So like and subscribe. Holler at me if you need to. Say hi. Hey, I love hearing from you guys. So enjoy your weekend. This coming weekend is 4th of July. Well, we're doing fireworks on Saturday at the lake. And I'll have some firework shit to put on YouTube. So, okay. That is it. I'm done. So, guys, 